Okay, so balik ko na uh, Ayan. Welcome to our first session for Gamprog 2. For the people who have passed Gamprog 1 last term, congrats. You are now in Gamprog 2. And which is a bit harder, but it's the same thing. We're still using Unreal. For the, there are people here na medyo bago. Uh, I've seen ngayon ko lang nakita yung, pang, yung pangalan ninyo. So, ayun. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I hope you all enjoy Gamprog 2 this term. <laughs> okay. Uh, siguro, I'll just self-intro muna sa mga di pa for the people who don't know me. So, yeah. Uh, I am Cesar Pado na nato, but you can call me Sir Pado. So, galing ko yung ako sa IMC here in Benilde. I am, I was ID number 115 and I've graduated noong February 2020, which is the start of pandemic. And, ayun, Dean's Lister. Woo! Pero never ko nakuha yung ano, yung award for being on Dean's Lister for a whole year sad but anyway uh ayun so before actually before this i used to be a uh, i used to study engineering ece electronics and communication engineering back in la Salle. so there you have it i used to be id number 113 non okay so i've worked in doc b senchila senchi labs uh si turtle tail tsaka si lutong bahay on those I have just uh, debug some of their so uh, some parts of their no of their game. So you know, you know, you know, I know. So value studios, naman. I've worked with Sir Ian, naman. Uh, both debugged and created new um, new things here in Hive Mind, their game, which is. Uh, uh tapos i also worked in their project simulator project so we were the first ones to work on it di ko tapos because i went to fujitsu naman so fujitsu ph so in there hindi na ako game dev i am now a application system engineer so may parang it and in there i i became a certified cloud practitioner so sounds cool pero Isipin nyo lang parang uh, may alam ako sa AWS or Amazon Web Services. Okay? Awards. So back in when I used to study, uh, we got Best Capstone noong 2019-2020 first term. And it was Ideal, Ideal which is Unity game. Tapos, uh, before that, which is our capstone 2 we created piece of home which uh we were nominated sa game on and we won uh game of the year under yung academic track nila sa game on okay so in this year piece of home tatlo lang kami i am the sole programmer so uh ayun sa so, ideal naman lima kami i'm also the sole programmer ako yung <laughs> programmer dun so Ayan, so that's my experience. For hobbies and interests, uh, besides coding, I do piano, I play tennis, nagbabalo ako, uh, I do play some turn-based strategy games. Yun yung medyo, yun yung uh, mas strip ko. And recently, I've been playing Lethal Company. Okay, so that is my hobbies and interests. Do you guys have any questions about it? Do you guys want to know something more? Let me just check. Voila. Okay lang. Okay lang kung wala kang questions. Was it hard to move careers from game dev to mainstream IT? Hindi. Not really. Because your knowledge in programming can still be used in... IT. You can start off as junior. Yeah, okay lang yun. Start off junior, then you can become mid. Eh, but in my case kasi, I worked a year sa no, game dev. And, uh, buti naman, they, they still uh, 
uh, hired me, which is parang med- mid. I'm not trainee. Hindi ako trainee sa ano, Fujitsu. They hired me as parang mid. So, hindi senior, pero hindi rin trainee. Uh, pwede, ka, pwede ba kayo mag ano? Pwede ba kayo maging trainee? Kapag ganun, they can actually train you to learn about different coding languages like uh, Java or uh, Python or whatever. Yun, I mean, they, it's paid naman by the company, but you'll be bonded. But ayun, that could happen. I mean, if you want. Pwede yun mangyari. But in this case naman, my case naman, parang I wasn't, I didn't go through that naman, so I'm free to change. Di ako, di ako bonded. Sa, sa, di ako na training bond. Alright, so not, not really, not, not really hard to change. Medyo useful rin eh. Medyo useful rin yung learnings mo dito sa game dev for IT because uh, you get creative here in game dev. In order for you to to be able to follow yung mga gusto ng designer, you have to be creative with how you solve that ano, yung mga problems. And in that, you can actually use that knowledge in IT where you get creative in how to solve yung mga uh, problems in the uh, IT industry. Okay? Any more questions? Bili mo kailangan tungkol dito. Or you want, if you want to know more about me, sure. If not, that's fine as well. Sige. Kung wala, uh, ayun. We can go straight to, I'll save that. We can go straight to about Gamprog 2. So what is Gamprog 2? Gamprog 2 is the continuation of whatever you did in Gamprog 1. But we'll be using C. So, yung C, uh, Unreal Engine actually is actually like created through C, pero they created a uh, yung blueprints to ease up yung mga stuff. Pero uh, yeah, it's really made out of C. Okay. What else we're going to do? We're going to learn more about event dispatcher in C++, how to do it, and also data-driven code where you learn how to how to separate. Um, I mean to de- I mean not decouple, but loosely couple yung mga yung mga classes nyo, or you could use like see mga data assets in Unreal Engine. We'll use that for sa code nyo. Okay? Any required software? All we need is Unreal Engine 5.2 point blank. Okay? So it can be anything. 5.2 point blank. Make sure it's 5.2. Pero, actually, let me, let me just double check if may bago na ba. Epic, M, Epic Games... So, yung mga, uh, wala, uh, yung mga hindi pa napag-gamp. I don't know. If you forgot how to get uh, Unreal Engine, you have to use Epic Games Launcher. And then, go through the Unreal Engine. So, right now, let me just check if... Ano yung current version? Yeah. 5.3? Do I want 5.3? Nah. Nah. So yeah, 5.2. Well, we'll, use, we'll be using 5.2.1. Or, basta 5.2 point blank. Okay? Make sure it is 5.2. I won't check yung mga submissions na 5.3 or less than. Or yung mga previous uh, versions of ano, Unreal. Okay? Make sure it's 5.2. Then... You need Visual Studios now. So, yung mga nag-gamprog din yung kailangan, gamprog one din yung kailangan ng ano, Visual Studios. Ngayon, you need Visual Studios. If not Visual Studios, uh, Jet. What was that the other, ano? Coding. IDE. J- 
Jet. Jet Brains? Was that Jet Brains or something? Ayun, pwede yun. Basta any IDE, okay lang. Kung gusto nyo ng, ng Notepad++, plus plus, oh, go, go ahead. Okay lang. Mahirapan kayo, pero oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Pwede ko hindi. Pwede ko hindi, hindi pwede yung Notepad. But anyway, next is you need fork. You can use Source 3 kung trip nyo, pero I've been using Fork for a while and okay naman siya. It's, it's good to use. Okay, any questions? GitHub? No. Kasi, mangyari, uh, yung repository na gagawin natin is GitLab. So, yung si GitHub... I th I'm pretty sure they only do, they only use their own repository. So, unless kaya gamitin si GitLab using the GitHub, uh, GitHub client. Sure. Pero kasi, we'll be using GitLab. Okay, any more questions before we continue? Any they could see any see So does GitLab work at our lab for last time we checked GitLab for there it would work there anything for? Uh, it should. Pero if you use your own machine like your own laptop, alam ko pinablock ng Wi-Fi si GitLab. If you use the computer sa lab, you should be able to use GitLab and fork. Yung fork to on actually there's a way to use it. Kailangan mong i set up ng onte we'll do we can talk about that next week siguro mag, mag face to face tayo next week sige so uh, work, I'll walk you guys through it na lang next week how to use how to set up yung fork nyo doon okay uh, sige no, no more questions we'll continue attendance uh so yung nga ulit, may attend may attendance na sa Vineyard. So kapag online, di man ako masyadong strict as long as you are there, I will count you. So usually yung ginagawa ko, is I check the attendance at the start and I check the attendance at the end. Just to double check. So kung wala naman kayo, okay lang, just let me know in advance. Kung di niyo sinabi, di niyo ako sinabihan in advance. I will count you as absent. Okay? Kapag F to F naman, if you are, if you arrive 15 minutes after, you're considered late. But if you arrive 30 minutes after, you are considered ab absent. So kapag late, that is 0 0.5 sa tardinyo. Kapag 30 minutes or kapag absent kayo, that is considered as 1 sa tardiness nyo. And then you will fail due to absences if you get more than 2.0. Which means if you get 2 absence in the late, you are FDA. If you get 5 lates, you are, you fail. You get FDA. Okay. Masa if you get 2.0 above 2.0 na tardiness. Actually, medyo hindi masyadong strict pero uh didn't really check it last time. But we'll see. 
So uh, I'll try to follow this. Any questions about this? Attendance? Ah, nga pala. Yeah, you're right. This is full. <laughs> you're right, you're right. This is full online. I forgot. Uh, so, uh, what happens is, ayun, basta be here bef uh, during our class hours. If not, absent agad kayo. Okay. Kung hindi ka kayo pwede, just tell me. Okay, okay? So, my mistake, you know, don't mind the F2F classes. This is for, uh, uh, so I have to teach you guys online. Okay. Sige. So, online, online class lang pala tayo. Okay, okay. Alright, so final grade criteria. It is twenty percent for project one, which is just the endless runner C plus plus, and then eighty percent for project two, which will be your tower defense. So, uh, so project one it's focused more on using C plus plus, getting used to it and all. Project two is uh more of implementing advanced. Game mechanics and using both C and blueprints. So si Project 2 hindi siya gaano pa strict as Project 1. Project 1 kasi is fully C and just a bit of um blueprint for some parts. Whereas Project 2 chill. Chill lang ang C and blueprints. Hindi siya ka strict. Okay. Midterm. So, midterm is basically your, just your milestone one. So, okay lang kung nag-fail kayo ng midterm. It doesn't mean the end of the world because it's just 20%. Okay? But, try your best. Try your best to work on your project one. Kahit na 20% lang siya. Why? Because, malaki yung project two. If, ginawa nyo lang, if you only did half of, I mean, siguro, I don't know. Uh, five, six. I don't know if you do like five, five milestones of project two out of seven. Major cutting close yun if you got if you didn't do anything to project one, right? Very, very important for you. Don't 20 percent. So it's nothing, I mean. You, Important pa rin. Important pa rin itong 20%. Okay? Midterm grade is only a snapshot. Yeah. Project 2 rubrics. So, sa Project 2, unlike si Project 1, si meron, meron kayong rubrics, which is my code quality, aesthetics, and user experience. So, hindi siya fully just requirements. May additional na iba. Aesthetics, UX. And this is usually graded sa last um sub, uh, submission ng ano ng project nyo all right any questions so far voila then carry on yeah uh this is just more in depth of the rubrics like they follow the coding principles. If the game is marketable quality, UX is superb. Okay. So this is just more in depth. How do you submit? It is through GitLab. So I will be creating a mouse a a Dropbox for this one on how to create your GitLab. How to set it up. Okay. I will also provide a a git ignore for you guys to use. So, ayun. Basta GitLab tayo. Milestones. So, milestones are technically self-paced. There are no deadlines for the milestones. Pero, may deadline sa 
buong project. So, succeeding milestones will only be credited after all the items in the preceding milestones are accomplished. What does that mean? So, again, kapag na-submit nyo yung milestone 1 to 5, pero milestone 1 pa lang, may problema, I cannot grade the milestones 2 and all the milestones 2, milestone 3, 4, and 5. Hindi ko mag-grade because hindi pa ayos yung milestone 1 nyo. Okay. Uh, all items in the privilege check milestones must be stable and functional. So, dapat makita ko na gumagana naman siya and walang bug na nangyayari. So, students are required to defend their code. Make sure that you're submitting your own code. Authorship tests may be conducted. So, important to because uh, in C++, mas halata na, na nanggaling yung code nyo from somewhere. Okay. So, Ayan. So, kung may, kung may, if I notice that it has been copied somewhere, I'll be consulting you guys naman about it, asking some authorship tests on it. Right? Then, itong part na to, this is new. Uh, I'm testing this out for, for all the classes. So, a student can only have at most two milestones checked per week. And how do you, how does this, how do we check this out? A appointment. So meaning, you'll actually show it to me through a call here, sa Discord. Papakita niyo yung, yung code niyo sa akin. I will ask you to show me some parts of it, defend some parts of it. Okay. So at most, you can only have two milestones checked per week. So what does that mean? Also. You cannot cram everything in one week and then show me everything in one week. This means you have to show me some progress at least like before the last week. This way, hopefully, it will get people to code more to submit their stuff because uh, last term was uh, kind of sad <laughs> to be honest not because uh, well mostly because maraming di rin nag submit so I'm hoping this will actually push you guys kasi I'm, I'm thinking that maybe because you guys some I mean sorry not you guys uh, the people who did not submit was because na overwhelmed sila they think na okay naman to in the last week tapos Pag kin nung kinod nila, hindi pala kaya. Ayun. GG sila, they, they, they don't submit it. So, I'm hoping this move will actually push the push you guys to submit yung mga work nyo. Okay? So, mangyari is may Google Calendar. I'll be creating a Google Calendar for appointments. And ipaplot nyo kung kailan kayo mag-appointment. Makakita naman dun eh. Kung may nagfill uh, may nagfill ba ng appointment for that time or something okay so the available times for this is usually on Tuesday Thursday Friday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and there will be times during class kasi sometimes may may days tayo na walang uh, lecture so uh, we can you can have your milestones checked there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that you have lots of questions here. My questions pa kayo dito at this part. Wow, no questions. Okay, lang kayo don. <laughs> Is fifteen minutes enough? Ang, inis ang unang inisip ko is 30 minutes per appointment. But that means at most will be like uh, per day that's only 4 appointments. So times 3 days, that's 12 appointments. And then if we include during uh, class hours, that is 
18 appointments per week. And I'm not sure if that's enough because see, I have another class it in and this will be the same uh, style, right? So you need to go 15 minutes max per appointment. You're just going to show me what you did. Not here, see so what Sergio is doing. 15 for checking is fine. Ano yung ginagawa ni Sergio? How long yung mga appointment niya? Oh nga, no? Yung loading times ng Unreal. I mean, I'm just gonna hope it's already built na by that time. <laughs> yeah, feel ko, feel ko 15 minutes short. Maybe 30. 30? I think 30 is fine. Sige, change ko lang to 30 minutes per appointment. I hope, I hope that's like enough. Mm, I see. See, so going to 30 minutes per appointment. That means you can have two appointments in one. I sorry, one appointment for two milestones. Huh? Kaya ba yun? What we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, kung kaya to. Most probably, I if ever na tapos ang ang isang appointment ng early, I can just message here naman na. If there, if if any questions, whatever. Yeah, but so, sana wala, just no cramming. That's that's what I'm trying to avoid right now. Wala magkakram, kasi I uh, I believe people like give up again kapag di nila kaya, and it's like the last week na. Alright. This is for milestone checking lang ha? Pero in case my questions kayo. Uh, you can probably message here, and I can, ano, we can talk about yung ano, kung anong kailangan yung tulong, and uh, at most, siguro one hour lang, yung mga ganun. Huwag, huwag masyado akong abusado na, ano, buong araw ko yun nagpa-consult. May mga taong ganun. <laughs> okay. Pero priority. Priority yung mga magpapacheck ng milestones. Okay. So, let's just check. Let's just change that. 30, 30 minutes. Hopefully, maybe two. Yeah, 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 yeah. GitLab is blocked from Windows Wi-Fi. Nah. Given talaga yun. Uh, I don't know why. Bakit yun Kaya nga, ano eh, yung mga computers lang ang may access sa GitLab. So if ever you go there to work, you have to use the computer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. You guys can sit in. No worries. Okay. Uh, any questions here? Oops. No questions? All good? Sige. F final build. So, final build is only for project two. Uh, you must have reached a requirement grade of 50% a week. Actually, hindi ko nga ano eh. Nah, sure, let's go with this. Must be present on the scheduled day of submission. So, you have to defend yung submit nyo. You play the game for me, and then show me some stuff. What makes your game, what makes your code unique? Sure. I will add that. I will add that to your coding quality. Okay? No repository and commit, no defense. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Any questions?
So I aim what I'm aiming for this term is no one is gonna cram. <laughs> okay. None, none, all good. Okay, okay. Sige. Uh let me just check if I have if we're going to talk about the man yung first project nyo. Just to just a I know syllabus. Okay, sige. Let's go with the syllabus. Syllabus. Uh is this the one? I mean, syllabus is ah uh, no 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 this is not updated. Syllabus is this updated? Ayan. I think updated. Uh, technically, it has the same thing. It just tells you lang ano yung mga yung more detailed part of it. Still using 5 point. Basta ano? 5. SSD. SSD is kind of important. Optional. But it really helps you in in building your code. Okay, it, it it's really useful if you put your Unreal. I uh, know if you put your project in your SSD. Okay, so there's a Visual Studio, Unreal Engine, Fork. Yeah, 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 yeah. Discord. Here we are. Submission. Uh huh. Uh huh. Netiquette. Sure. If you have this more in depth on what what you're gonna learn about. Next C plus plus the workflow. I don't need to teach this. Uh -huh, more. What's that more detailed? More detailed pa yung ano, yung syllabus natin. Ito, it's the same thing. Almost the same thing, but iba yung wording. It still follows the distribution, sixty twenty ten ten, and then the twenty eighty. For the projects, references, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, okay, then. Alam niyan. We'll just go straight to the project. Just a brief through lang, because technically this is the same as Gamprog ones and this runner, but it's in C plus plus. So I'm gonna change that one. So in this project, you create an this runner, but it's in C++. That's, that's basically it. Milestones. It's the same milestones. However, dito, it just tells you what to change. So like a drawn character, kailangan C++ siya. And then it has these components, the spring arm, the camera. Right? And then you create a blueprint of using this class. And then you also create a run character controller. And we're gonna learn how to use the new, uh, how to code using the new input. Um, yung bagong input ni Unreal. Right? And then game mode. So, milestone 2 is the spawning of the tiles. Right? So, it's, it's really just following your, your Gamprog 1. Pero. It describes lang what to do na C++. But everything else will have to follow yung endless genre nyo. The thing is, wag yung gamitin yung previous project nyo. Don't use it because it's gonna get messy. Might as well create a new project, pero you can keep your, you can check your old project as reference on how you did it. And then do it on the new project right so you'll be learning about it oh declare dynamic multicast delegate but we'll learn about that okay then you have obstacles also which will be in c++ and then you'll learn about how to use functions on c++ okay so that is basically Basically, that is your that is your first project. 
I will be teaching you naman on how to do stuff, how to work on the C++ on uh, next week. Okay? So don't worry too much about it. Chill muna kayo. It is just your endless runner. If you remember your endless runner, then hooray, you're just gonna have to make it to a C++. Okay? So, you know, naman for for your first project. We'll talk about your second project naman by midterms. All right. Any questions about this? Actually, bu uh, bukas ulit. Next week, medyo iyak tayo dito eh. Itong si Ron Character Controller. If you remember how complicated it was in in Blueprint, it's as complicated as in C++. <laughs> so, yung mga uh, bago pa lang, ay, yung mga nag-take ng Gamprog 1 before last term, you'll know that in Unreal 5, there's a new input system. So, hindi na siya yung uh, yung old school na you could just press E or whatever. You have, there's a certain way to doing it. And really, uh, honestly, it sucks. <laughs> Alright. Any questions? You know the one for today. Uh, if you guys have no questions... I will be updating yung Big Sky natin by well, the latest next week. I will input yung mga, ano, mga Dropbox natin and all. Okay. And this one, I will be posting this rin naman sa YouTube and then you can just watch, uh, link it in our Big Sky na rin. So again, kung wala pa kayong SSD, uh, it's it's a good idea to upgrade to an SSD. It it's kind of cheap now a bit. I mean, if you have like two thousand, <laughs> spare two thousand pesos. Yung mga pera na kuwan yung back in Christmas. Ayon, it's a good time to upgrade. <laughs> but again, you're not required. You're not required to get SSD, but it would help. See ya. So, there are no questions. You guys can go. Uh, I'll see you guys next week, and I hope you enjoy your night. Bye-bye. Wow. Bye, sir. <laughs> see you, see you.